Righto. Well, it's been a pretty bloody relaxing day at uh, Clairview. Haven't, um, haven't done sweet FA. Haven't even put the rod in the water, to be honest, but uh, I think we've kind of missed the opportunity. We were up at the, um, at the little inlet earlier, the little barra spot. And um, yeah, there's a few too many people there for my liking, so I'd, you know, throwing another rod in down there at that point would be a bit rude, I reckon. So I left it. But anyway, a few people have been asking about the camp trailer and why we haven't been using it. But here it is. But um, no, nah, the story was, uh, I think last time we used it was probably late November. And so we have always wanted uh, this particular tent we've got now, but um, what happened was we sold our tent and we weren't going to buy this other tent until we sold our tent, and um, which was just the standard um, Oztrack tent that comes with it. And uh, so, yeah, we sold that uh, late November and then we've purchased uh, the 230 Dakota 2200 and guess what? <laughs> it was on back order. So anyway, we, as I said, we purchased that on December 3rd and we got it early February. So um, I spent last week uh, on Saturday putting it in. So uh, yeah, I'll just give you a look at it. So yeah. 23 Ciro Dakota, 2200, which means it's 2200 length in length, and it's nearly about the same um, same wide when it folds out. Well, maybe a bit bigger actually. But um, anyway, she's a pretty good tent. It's got the uh, it's got the fly on the top there, and um, one of the main reasons we wanted this particular tent is because it's got this uh, LST, which is called um, or which is short for light suppression technology. So when you get up underneath it, she's pretty dark. It's like, uh, and it's actually a lot cooler in here because it's like a, it's like a UV layer and it's black. So the idea behind that is uh, you won't get waken up at the first crack of dawn. So much like the other tent though, there's um, heaps of room. It's essentially the same sort of size, but anyway, Heaps of room up in here. It's got big windows and the best thing about it, probably can't see on this camera at the moment, but the whole roof opens up too. So if you take off the um, take off the fly and you can open the roof and you can basically look at the stars uh, whilst you're going to bed or while you're lying in bed. So, um, so yeah, a few little things like that, which we really liked and basically had our heart set on this tent uh, from the get-go. Uh, these ladders way better than the last one. Essentially, I think the last one was basically a king's tent, just heaps bigger. But um, these ladders are pretty good, a lot, uh, lot better on your feet, but at the same time, still not awesome on your feet. So we might actually, we're thinking about putting some sort of rubber stuff. Like it's not too bad most of the time, but when you get up first thing in the morning, you're a bit stiff, a bit sore. <laughs> she, um, you certainly know you're in bare feet. But anyway, so that's, um, that's the new tent. So that's why we haven't been using the camper trailer, just because, um, yeah, we haven't been able to. We had no tent on it. Um, when I ordered it also, I ordered the extra rails. So um, it comes with three rails, but I ordered an extra two and another mounting kit. So it's now got five rails on it to evenly disperse the weight. Most of the time it goes on top of your car, obviously, with um, ladder racks. But um, just with the way this uh, camper trailer set up, with this uh, top cage bit. Um, I just thought, well, let's spread the weight out a little bit more. It's not the most heavy duty cage, but it uh, does the job. And that's the other thing I've done, actually. I've uh, sheeted off the cage. I haven't sealed it yet and haven't quite finished, but um, basically I've sheeted off with aluminium all on the inside of it. I've got to run around and um, even on the roof as well. But I've got to run around and run some um, ceiling along all the uh, open parts at the bottom. But I'm just not 100% sure about that as yet. Because I don't know, um, say for instance, we're in a, um, just say for instance, we're in a uh, massive downpour of rain, some bad weather. The last thing I want is for it to fill up with water and to be trapped in there. So I need somewhere to go just in case. But uh, I'm pretty sure if I seal off the bottom, and the top, well the top's pretty much sealed anyway, but if I seal off the bottom, I might just leave a little gap at the back 
and um, and then I can just uh, lift the trailer up the front and uh, let any water that may have gotten in there somehow drain out. But anyway, it's been good to get the tent out, or the tra trailer out. Um, as I said, it's been a while. Late November is the last time we had it out. But uh, yeah, it's essentially just because we haven't had a tent on it, otherwise we would have been in it a few times. So um, yeah, that's the latest update for the trailer. Uh, we will probably get some suspension for it. We haven't set up ever uh, all the sides for this awning. So we might do that today while we've got time, but also bought the room for underneath this tent. So we'll just whack that on and see what that's like. All right, so I've just set this uh, bottom room up. And first impressions, we're not very impressed. It's basically a massive sail. Like admittedly, it's not high enough. So it needs to be pulled down. But in saying that, it's only got like one peg here and another peg in that corner. So this whole side is just blowing in. The way that the, um, the floor is separate, that's a pretty good idea, I reckon. There is just something more to put on though. But um, yeah, it's just like a massive sail. Um, it really needs, really needs a um, eyelet here, and possibly in the middle of the door just to pull it out taut. Yeah, maybe even poles. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a bit ordinary. But um, yeah, it obviously, it probably needs to, um, trailer needs to be up about two inches, two to three inches, probably more like three. But um, yeah, not very impressed. It's not even like the same color as the, um, as the tent really. And it's a totally different material. It's a lighter weight material, but um, yeah, there's just no securing it. Like it really, probably ultimately should have poles in the corners to like sort of hold it in spot and then like put it into the base of the, um, base of the uh, tent. So yeah, not, uh, not actually too impressed. Yeah, it was pretty comfortable. The mattress is quite firm. Uh, time will tell if that loses its shape and you know you end up with uh, numb hips or numb legs or something from uh, being on the hard ground underneath it. But um, that's what, another thing that's really good about this trailer actually is the, ba the trailer, the uh, tent. The, um, the base of it's like uh, aluminium sheet and then another aluminium sheet on top which is a lot better than the, um, well, I'm pretty sure it was like some sort of chipboard or something on the last one. So it always felt like you're putting your knee through it every time you like crawled around up in there. But this one, not so much. It uh, feels really solid. So we're pretty happy with it. And the first night's sleep is very good, as I just said. But uh, we'll update that as we use it more. And then, um, yeah, but the mattress is very firm. And we, well, I personally prefer a firm mattress. So um, I'm pretty stoked with it. And the fly's a tight fit. Everything uh, so far is pretty good. Only criticism I would have uh, the last tent, this uh, this roof part here was a lot higher. Just the pitch of this uh, this bar here was a lot higher, so you could actually get out of the tent. Kind of, I got down front ways. Uh, now it's kind of like you're pushing your head up on the ceiling. So um, yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, apart from that, they give you this extra bar to make it a bit more sturdy and help with uh, rain, so it washes off the top rather than sag and like build up this little trough of like water. Um, the last one did that, but this one, yeah, should be right. So we had a bit of rain last night, which was good for a first night little test. Nothing came in. We had all the doors and windows open. So um, yeah, and it was quite windy as well. So if there was ever going to be any rain get in, last night would have been it. Oh, the only other thing also, I spoke to 23.0 about these uh, window poles and um, they basically just come with the tent and there's no sort of poles to suit like a 270, a 270 awning. And um, yeah, so I contacted them and yeah, they don't even sell them. So um, what I've had to do is, whoop, what I've had to do is I've had to uh, basically put that in a vise, I've heated it up and like put a couple of bends in it, just so that it clears that awning. And it still kind of works, but it's just like a little bit loose. So it tends to flap about a bit in high wind but that's probably as good as i'm going to get it and it seems to be doing the job 
So um, I'm not sure if any other tents, I'm sure they do. I think the last tent came with the, um, well it did, it came with the uh, poles to uh, facilitate one of these 270 awnings just in the way I've bent that one up. Um, but I've lost a little bit of length obviously, so then it's um, not pulling that as taut as what this one would be. And the same deal with the front of it. I think the last tent also had, um, I think the last tent also had the kinked poles. And um, but anyway, that, those ones at the front there work fine. So um, all in all, it's pretty good. And when you um, fit one of these tents that don't come from the factory, obviously making sure you fit it in the correct fit it in the correct spot to actually so your 270 comes around and pulls right against that. The only thing is 270s is obviously a bit higher but pulling it down and underneath the tent how I've got it at the moment I'll probably rig something up where I don't have to do it like that anymore. But anyway yeah so as I said that's why we haven't had the trailer out but now it's uh, back in action we'll be getting it out way more. So still doing the R&D on it making sure it's going to be uh, fit for what we want it for in the long term and um, we'll add stuff and upgrade as we go and obviously keep everybody updated as we do it but I think yeah the next thing's the suspension so um, but anyway we'll uh, update as we go